Hi, this is Leah from Palm and Grace. This is a comprehensive video tutorial of our travel planner spreadsheet. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use all the great features of this spreadsheet. The link to purchase the spreadsheet will be below, and if you have any questions at all, please be sure to reach out to us. And without further ado, let's get into the video tutorial. Once you're ready to start using the spreadsheet, the very first tab you're going to go to is the Start tab. On the Start tab, there are a couple things you'll want to do to set up your spreadsheet. The very first thing you'll want to do is add in your currency symbol. You can either type it in or copy and paste it from the web. The next thing you're going to do is add in your currency code. So for example, my currency is the US dollar, so I would type in USD. Then you're going to select from the dropdown the day of the week that you start your week off with. So for example, for me, that is Sunday. Finally, you're going to add in different categories for your itinerary planning. You can easily come back and add to this list in the future, so no worries if you don't have all the categories figured out yet. However, I'll add in some example categories to reference. After this, the next tab you're going to go to is the Trip Info tab. In this tab, you're going to fill out all the general information of your trip. The very first thing you're going to do is add in a start date for your trip, which you can do by double-clicking this blank cell and selecting from the calendar, or typing it in using the month, day, year format. Then you can add in an end date as well. Once you add in both a start date and an end date, you'll be able to see the number of days and nights of your trip, and the calendars over here will automatically update and highlight with the days that you'll be gone. After this, you can add in the different countries or states that you'll be visiting. If you have selected to use the US map version of the spreadsheet, then instead of countries, you will just add in state names. This is also optional, but you can add in the start date and end date of the different places that you'll be visiting along your trip to see which days you'll be there. Once you add in a country name, that country should automatically highlight in the geo map to the right. And lastly, you can add in a vacation name down below. If you're visiting one specific continent, you can also change your geo map to reflect this. For example, if I double click the map and go to customize, then to geo, then to region, I could select Europe and just see all the European countries. And now it is way more zoomed in like this. So the very first itinerary is a very simple one that looks just like this. In it, you can add different details for breakfast, morning, mid-morning, lunch, evening, dinner, and night. And if you scroll to the right, it will include as many days as are included in your trip. And after that, it will look blocked off like this. And it will also highlight your current day so you can easily see that information quickly. Due to the layout of this itinerary, I would say that the best use is on mobile. Itinerary B is very similar to itinerary A, except it's essentially all in pictures. So this is a picture-based itinerary where you add in the URL in the light gray cells and an image will appear. So that way you can see in image form what you have planned for each day. And you can fully customize these sections on the left as well. Similarly to itinerary A, I would say that the best use for this would be on a mobile device. Itinerary C is one of my personal favorites because it combines both images and a more written out itinerary. In this tab, you can easily add in images by pasting in URLs into these light gray cells on the left. The image will automatically appear right next to it. After that, you can add in more specific details for each thing. You can add in start times, end times, estimated lengths. You can add in categories to show what you'll be doing. You can add in more details or specific names, and then any notes to the left, followed by a link that you can add. As you can see up here, you can also turn the colors on and off for each day's itinerary just by checking and unchecking this checkbox. Another really great thing about this tab is that you can print it out. I would recommend printing this in landscape form so that all the text appears larger. However, you can also print it out in portrait form as well. It is totally up to you. Moving on to itinerary D, this itinerary is very, very similar to itinerary C, except it removes the images and gives more space for everything. So this is just a very vertically based itinerary, and I think it can be super helpful and amazing. Similarly to the last one, you can also print this one out as well, and I would recommend going to landscape. However, you can still choose to do portrait if you would like. 
Itinerary E is another great option where you can map out your day more specifically, and it also includes a to-do list at the bottom that updates as you check off the tasks, and you can add in any other notes as well. At the top of the box, you can also add in a brief summary of the day and any locations you'll be visiting. To add in an image, all you have to do is paste the URL into the beige cell up here, and the image will automatically appear. And again, you can select from the drop downs very easily and add in more specific information for each thing you'll be doing that day. Due to the layout of this tab, I would recommend using this one most on mobile. Itinerary F is one of our two time blocking itineraries. As you'll see, Itinerary F and Itinerary G are very similar. The only difference is that Itinerary F is in 15 minute increments and Itinerary G is in half an hour or 30 minute increments. So it's slightly smaller and more compact. To use these tabs, the very first thing you're going to want to do is select a start time that will be used for each day. Once you do this, the times will automatically update for the rest of the tab. For each day, you can add in locations, transportation information, accommodations, and a brief summary. When it's time to do your time blocking, you can easily select a category from the dropdown and then add in your details. To do the actual time blocking, select the cell and drag down over the time that it will cover and then click the merge cells button up here and the time will be blocked off just like this. If you try to do this with the links, you'll see an error, but just click OK and it will merge completely fine. So if you love time blocking, this may be perfect for you. If you realize you've made a mistake, you can always go over to another section and just copy and paste part of it over and it will appear as normal. Or you can click to unmerge the cells just like this. And then drag down the links to reset it. So it's super easy. And again, Itinerary G is used in the exact same way. Due to the layout of these two tabs, I would also say that the best ease of use would be on mobile as opposed to printing them out. However, you can of course use them on your laptop or computer as well. Itinerary H and Itinerary I are our two calendar-based tabs. They both include two months, so you can hopefully see all the days of your trip. The days of your trip will highlight in blue, and the current day of the trip will highlight in an orange color. Itinerary H is a more image-based tab. You can easily add in an image to any of the cells by pasting the URL into the light gray box and the image will appear. Beneath that, in the beige section, you can add in any details of what you're doing that day. This tab is a great one to print, and I would recommend doing this in portrait so that you can get the full calendar on both pages. Lastly, Itinerary I is incredibly easy to use as well. In this tab, you can add in the times in the light beige cells, and then you can add in details in the lighter cells next to it. Each day has five different slots. And if there's a different way that you would like to use this calendar, you can absolutely do that as well. This tab is another great tab to print out, and I would recommend printing this one out in landscape so that you can fully view the calendars on each page like this. Those are all of our itinerary templates. If you need help remembering which itineraries are best for what, we do have this listed out for you if you scroll down on the how to use tab. Lastly, one quick thing I wanted to know is that when you open the spreadsheet, if you add in any links to images, this warning bar may appear here. All you have to do is click allow access and everything will work great. And that concludes our video tutorial for the travel planner spreadsheet. Again, a link will be left in the description box below for you to purchase the spreadsheet. And if you have any questions at all, please be sure to reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to help. I'm so excited with how the spreadsheet turned out, and I truly hope that you can use it to transform your trips and make travel planning much easier. Again, I'm so excited for you to get to use this spreadsheet. Thanks for being here, and I hope to see you around again here soon.